Hello everyone and once again welcome to WS Cube Tech. Myself Umar Taskir. Guys, in this particular video, we are going to talk about website design. We are going to talk about the best practices of website design for the purpose of search engine optimization. Whenever we talk about search engine optimization, our main focus is basically towards on-page SEO, the basic on-page SEO titles, writing of the content and everything, right? And off-page SEO also, we also focus on creating more and more backlinks. We also follow uh, different strategies with respect to backlinks. We try to create uh, powerful backlinks. That is, that is something very uh, different. But again, people ignore website design, right? People more focus on on-page SEO. That is one type, one time thing, right? And then they move to off-page SEO. They, they focus on creation of the backlinks. They focus on the technical aspect of the, their website, like security, SSL certificate, website speed, all those factors. Yes, those factors are also important, but you cannot ignore the aspect of website design, which many people are ignoring these days. And uh, we, we cannot ignore the point that Google is now very much serious about the website design. Google is now very much serious about the usability of your web page, that how people are going to interact with your web page, what kind of uh, uh, flexibility is there on your web page, how, how easy it becomes when someone comes on your web page, how, how easy it is to explore the information of your web page, to explore the content of your web page. So as we all know that Google is now more inclined towards the users, right? Uh, they, they do not bother about what kind of web page you are having, what kind of information you are having. Now they are much more bothered about their users. They want to provide them the best and the best of the experience from Google's perspective, right? So we'll be talking about some points which uh, are going to help you for the purpose of website design. And these points are there in correlation with uh, search engine optimization. So there is some correlation between your search engine optimization efforts and also your website design. So we'll be talking about some points that we should consider and if you are not following this point then you should start considering these points and you should optimize your website design in this way right so we'll be we'll be uh, starting the uh, actual content now so i have some points over here majorly five important very important points that we should consider while uh, auditing or while uh, creating our website uh, whenever we are doing search engine optimization right Th these are the basic points but for this specific video we are discussing website design with respect to search engine optimization only that how google is going to uh, see your website how google finds your website how google thinks that your website is well or not for the users right so the first point is focus on too much on design and not on usability so many of the times i've seen people focusing more on the design they more focus on colors combinations where they are going to put the visual elements how it is looking like look and feel that the, the mo most of the uh, website owners are more concerned about the look and feel of the website which is again not a very important factor when google reads your web what they find is what i mean what they find useful for the users is the usability the navigation how easy it is to explore your web page how easy it is to find each and every uh, content on your web page how easy it is to find each and every element of your web page how how accessible it is right all these are the important points all these are the important factors that google is going to take into consideration while ranking your web page right so uh, yes the design the look and feel is again a very important point but if you are a search engine optimization guy then you must not ignore the usability right they, they should go parallel right the design and usability and you have to find the optimum balance between both of the things that there should be design, um, I mean, the visual aspect also, the visual appeal of the website, which should be there, but you should not use more annoying kind of a colors, right? You, you have to make a balance. That is what I was telling you. You have to make a balance between the design and the usability. If we'll take my consideration, I'll be more focusing myself towards usability point, right? Then the second mistake that many of the people do is they use many font types on a single page. There's no consistency, just, just random, so many font types. This is again a very bad practice from design perspective and from uh, Google's optimization uh, perspective also. Then the third is use of white space is important, right? You cannot fill your web page completely, right? You have to make sure that, okay, there should be proper balance of the content and the white space. Content and the white space. That is what we call as usability and that is what we consider a very good design right then there are annoying pop-ups right uh, you you should use uh, pop-ups it is it is advisable that you you should use pop-ups because many of the times we do need pop-ups for the different purposes sometimes we focus on uh, getting leads so we do we do uh, create pop-ups sometimes some sales pop-ups or something like that some notifications some announcements pop-ups 
uh, but we should also consider where we are putting those pop-ups after how many seconds that pop-up is coming out so these all are very small small factors but we cannot ignore these factors we have to we have to look after these factors and we have to keep improving these things that how we should design our pop-ups and and how they should actually look on our website and the fifth point is you are making your 404 page as a dead many of the times you will you will figure out that people are going to your 404 pages and there can be different reasons for that people misspelled your uh, urls right so this is this is a basically a human mistake they do uh, make those kind of mistakes so whenever a user is reaching to your 404 page right what you have to make sure is do not make it as your dead end right make sure that if a user is going to your 404 page you have some elements over there on that 404 page so uh, so that the people visiting on that that particular page basically clicks somewhere on that page whatever the instructions you have given like you have given a link to your home page you have given a link to your services page you have given a link to your uh, uh, contact us page whatever whatever you want you you can definitely give some links over there on your 404 so if a person by mistake also lands on your 404 page do not give him a way to escape right do not give him or her a way to exit right make sure that there are some elements on your 404 page with and those elements the purpose of those element is basically uh, to keep that particular user on your website only right so for that purpose we have the option of using different kind of elements the links the images on our 404 page so that the user remains on our website only so these are the different points which are basically going to help us in creating a good website design with uh, keeping the important uh, search engine optimization efforts in consideration right so that's it for this particular video see you in the next video till then goodbye